Okay, this is a tutorial for the 3x3x9 Type 2 by Wadidin. And I mentioned in my 3x3x9 Type 1 tutorial that this one is actually easier. And the reason for that is you just don't have to do this second algorithm for this puzzle. So I'll mix it first and then I'll show you how to do the rest. Okay, so the first thing you want to do for this is to solve the centers again. To do that, you have to make sure all the centers are aligned in the same direction. And you also have to make sure that you have one of these types of pieces with out, without any of the full squares. And I generally like to solve the white and yellow sides first because those are the sides with the squares on them. So I'm going to do those first. First align the centers into one direction. And then you have to make sure these are in here. Yeah. Now I'm going to just put all the white or yellow pieces into their correct places. So here's my yellow. And for this one, since I can't just put it straight up because it would mess up the yellow, what I have to do first is to replace this white with this white. From there, I'm going to have to bring back down for the yellow. And while I'm doing that, just before that, I'm going to flip this around so the white piece can come in here and match up. And now I need to open up a new r road, as you might call it, and I have to do it onto another side. Now I'm going to solve the purple side, same thing again, put it up, replace it, and I'll flip it around and put it back down. So I've solved one of the purple sides, now I'm going to solve the blue side, again same thing, replace it, put it back in. I'm done with the blue, purple, yellow, and white, now I just have to do the green and the other purple. So same thing again, put it up, replace it, and again, put it up. And replace it. So now I'm done with this and the next thing I want to do is to solve all of the edge pieces. I'm going to do the ones without the squares first. So first I'm going to flip one of these around so I can solve either the purple and green or the purple and blue. So take it out one direction and if I take it out using the top face like I just did right now then I had to put it in using a different face, like the front face. And that flips around the side, the edge. Now from here, I'm going to put this piece down here to replace it. And then, I'm going to take this out, flip it around, and when I put it back in again, it should go into this spot once this is flipped around. So, from here, I'm going to put this down here. It matches. Now take it out using any side, I'm going to use the front face, and then put it in using a different face, in this case the top. From here, if I bring it back up again, this piece is solved. Now this isn't a checkered pattern, but I can worry about that one later for now. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to replace this with this. This will go here, and this will go here. So first move it down, match it up, take it out using any face, front face again for me. And then put it in using a different face, top face. Now I'm going to put it back up. And this edge is solved. This one is solved, and this one is solved. Now the only side edge, the edge, the only edge without a square that's not solved is this one. And you just have to flip both the outer edge pieces. So to do that, I'm going to use this first algorithm 
over here, like I did for the 3x3x9, three three or the 2x3x3, or 4x3x3. Three three. So, I'm going to do the right, and when I'm saying right for this particular one, right or left, I'm referring to this, including this, including this side, when I'm referring to this particular algorithm. So, 2R back twice, up twice, left, up twice, 2R, I mean sorry, not 2R, R, R inverted, 2 up, right, 2 up, 2 front, right, 2 front, left inverted, two backs, and right twice. Now that fixes that error right there, and everything else is still solved. Now I have to work on the other ones, so I now I have to solve it kind of like a 3x3x3, three by three by three, and I'm assuming you know how to do this, so I will not say any of the algorithms for this one. So just solve the top and bottom faces like a 3x3x3 three by three by three until the squares are on top. You don't have to worry if one side has yellow and white on it. It doesn't really matter as long as you have white and uh, all the squares facing in the right directions, white or the yellow side. So I'm going to flip these around. Same over here. And then now I have to flip the corners. Okay, so once you have all that done, all you have to do now is to match all of the um all the edge pieces with a square on it with the smaller edge pieces. So first I'll match these two purples with this purple. Now this piece is solved, so I don't have to worry about this anymore. And I'm gonna flip this one and put in a non not solved piece up into that place. Now I'm going to solve the other ones again. Over here, I matched greens. I'm going to replace that with a not piece that's not solved. Again, piece that's not solved, replace it. Again, and just so on and so on until you're done with all the edge pieces. Now there's no more edge pieces down here that have to be solved, so I just have to work with these. Done with this one, so here I solved these two, and now I just need these. Now, when it gets to a position like this, where there's only two pieces that are not solved the blue and purple, and purple and blue you want to put them across from each other. So, I'm going to take one of them out and put it directly across from it. So, now these two unsolved sides are across from each other. I also want to make sure that the two other edge pieces are the same color, only on the edge side. So I need either a green side here or a blue side here. And I only have green down here, so I'm going to put the green over here, across from the other green. So now these two sides are green, and these two are the sides that aren't solved. Now if I turn it around twice, the, the greens will still be the same, since they're the same color and the purple and blue sides will be solved. Now the reason why this particular puzzle is a bit easier than the 3x3x9 three three type 1, this one, is because it had two of the sides are the same color, they're both purple. So for this one, instead of having two different colors that are opposite, that are the same of each other, that, that are the same colors but opposite of each other, I can have all purples. So I'm going to do that. Now I have all purples up here, and now I'm going to solve for the corners. So just match them up. Here's a piece that's completed, and I just want to put in another corner up here. And to do that one, I'm going to make sure that the piece I want to put in, replace it with, 
is directly underneath. I'm going to bring that up to the top, and I want to match that with this edge and this corner piece, which I don't want to change. I'm going to move this down out of the way. If I move it back, that corner piece I want to replace will fall into place right next to the side and the other corner. Next, I'm going to move it out of the way completely, flip it, and these three are the ones I want to put back in. So bring it over here and put it back up. Okay, and now I'm going to just solve the corners again, like I usually did. Now this one's solved, I'm going to do the same with this one. Put it directly underneath the one I'm replacing it with. Flip it around, bring it down, flip it around again, bring it down again. Flip it around, bring it over twice, and flip it around again. And just keep doing that for a while. Another one. And here's another one. Now this is the last one that I can use because everything else is already solved down here. So now these four are the only ones that aren't solved. So first thing I'm going to flip this around. This piece is solved. And I need this piece also. Okay, another good thing about this puzzle is since they have uh, two sides that are both purple, you can have two sides that are essentially the same, other than the yellow or the white. So in this case, this blue and purple are the same, because the blue is on the left side, if you flip it around, the other blue is on the left side as well. So what I'm going to do is to put two of the solved pieces with the same exact coloring, on the, only on the edge of course, exactly opposite each other. So this one's over here and the other one's over here. So I'm going to put this one up here. And from there I can solve these two without messing up these corner pieces since they're the same. So now this one is solved. I need to solve this one and this one. So these two are still the same. So I can leave these two. And I want to put this piece over here. This one right up here. And from there, flip just the very top face around until everything is solved. Now I'm completed with reducting all these pieces. And now the rest is solving like a 3x3x3, three by three by three, which I'm assuming you know how to solve. One thing you have to note though is that according to how exactly you want to solve it, the centerpiece can also be facing this direction once it's solved, and it won't connect. So you can either solve it that way, or you can try to make sure that it stays sideways like this. If, I'm, if I want to do that, then I usually just do the yellow or the white side layer first. So I'm going to do the yellow first. I'm going to get the cross. So I have all the crosses, and in the process I also got all the corners. And when you do that, you just have to make sure that the crosses, as you're getting the crosses, these centers are facing the same direction, which I just did. And then put in the second layer. And then put in, get the cross for the last layer. And then get the corners. And this may look like it's almost an impossibility since these are both purple and this is green, this one's blue. But the only thing is you just have to flip this around twice and since they're both purple, it's still solved. But there is an instance where this might not look right. So in this case, the 
side pieces are still in the right places, but when you go to solve the corners, something strange happens. So, okay, so when you try to go and solve the corner pieces, nothing is completely the same or right. So when I look at this, these are the right colors, like all the side pieces are in the right places, and two of them can be solved completely, but these two have to be flipped. The only reason for that is because there are two purple sides and these two are flipped. So you just have to flip these two, and that's the only difference. So I'm going to flip those two again and solve for the corners one more time. And that's how you solve the 3x3x9 three three type 2. Thank you for watching.